Alright, so in this video we're going to be creating this light we're seeing right here. So let's get to it. So we're going to go over to top view real quick. And you can see we already have the uh, the blueprint line going on for it. So let's just press shift and S, choose Kessel to world origin. And let's add in a mesh plane. Alright, so let's go into edit mode. We're going to press G and we're going to move this all the way here. Scale it down all the way to this point. And we move this in the Z axis beyond that. And we're going to press G. Let's move this all the way here. <clears throat> sorry and let me see I'm gonna press G and I'm gonna move this all the way to this point take this one move it all the way here take this move it all the way to here and let's take this and move it all the way to there let me move this a little bit in like that and you can see what we have so what I want to do now is to add in let me see let me just slide this in a little bit yeah so I think everything is falling on it nicely now. Alright, good. So what we're going to do now is to press X and delete only faces. Alright, so we have the edges going on. Alright, so with that done, let's go over to the top view and... I don't know. First off, let's extrude this in a Z axis, okay? Like that. So I'm going to use this to create the edges, the rounded edges we're seeing over there. So I'm going to take each of these and we go into edge select mode. I'm going to take this edge first. Let's go over there. I'm going to press Ctrl and B. And let's create the edge for it. So I want to put in three, like that. And let me just press G and move this all the way to there. Now the next one, we're gonna take this. Let's go back in there. Let's press Control and B. And let's bevel this just as much, like that. Let's go into the next one, which is this. <coughs> Sorry, Control and B. Bevel it just as much, like that. But just a little bit more smaller than the ones we have over here because those areas are much more sharper let's go to the top view and let's do the same thing here to there like that so we're done, done now we're going to select the top vertices and we're going to delete them like that so let's go over to the top view now and let's add in I don't know two in the middle of each of them like that and now we're going to change the snapping element to face and make sure project individual element is enabled Select everything, press G, press G, hold control, and press enter. Let's just snap it onto the face for us, like that. So I'm going to change back the snapping element back to increment, like that. And now let's go over to front view. Alright, so we're going to go into wireframe, like that. I'm going to press E, and then Z. I'm going to pull this up to about here, like this. So here's what I want to do let's press. F for that. Let's press F for that. I want to change the pivoting or no, the orientation to normal. I want to press S and Z and type in zero. All right, to flatten everything nicely like that. Now let's go back in here. I want to pull this down to kind of match this area. Let me just. Sorry. Let me just. Uh, let me see. Is it rotate? I don't think. Yeah, rotation works. So let's just rotate it. Press S and Z and type in zero again, just to flatten. And make sure. Just to make sure everything is flattened nicely like that. And it is. Alright. So I'm going to go over to front view. And we're going to scale this down. Alright. We're going to scale it down until it falls in the square area. The mini square area over there like that. Let's go to the top view. And you can see what I mean. So something quite small. Let me scale it out a little bit more. Like that. Press G. And let's center it quite much to about there. And that should be good. Press S and Z. Type in 0 again. Let's just pull this down a little bit like that. Nice. So I'm gonna press I to insert the faces uh, to about there. I'm trying to see how much lip we have around it. So let's insert this again to I think there should be good like that. Nice. So I'm gonna press E now. I'm gonna extrude this down to here. I'm gonna press E again. Extrude this down to there. And we're going to keep everything there like that. So let's add in a subdivision surface modifier. Add level. Let's keep it at level 1. Yeah. So now make sure the object is selected and select shade smooth like that. So let's go into edit mode. Let's press Ctrl and R3 here. Press E and then F. Align it with the top and pull it over there. <coughs> Sorry. Let's put, I don't know, 2 in the middle here. Nice. And let's put 1 over here. Pull it up quite close like that and let's take this 
I just press G twice and pull it up like that. Alright, let's go into wireframe. I want to take the one, the very last one. I want to press I to insert the faces. But before we do that, undo that, okay? Before we actually do that, let's press Ctrl and R here. Move it close to it, like that. And now let's take it and let's insert the face a little bit like that. Alright, so you can see what I did there. And what we're going to do now is, uh, let me see. Let me just take this one, okay? And let me add one in here. So I'm going to press E to align it with the very one below. And let's press F and then let's pull this in the Z axis. And after that, press X and delete the faces. Alright. I did that to ensure that we were pulling it down in the normal Z axis, which we did. Alright, so that is looking good. So I'm going to take everything now, pull it up just a slight bit like that, just so we can have space for the solidification. Alright. So let me take this one. Let's press, let's change the orientation back to boundary bolts. And let's press F. Let's pull this up a little bit more. I think it's too much, so just pull it up a little bit. Press X and delete the faces. Alright, now let's add in the solidify real quick. So add in solidify. And we have to change this down completely down to maybe 0.0001. Is that enough? That is too small, so let's try 0.0005. Is that enough? Let's go with 0.001. I think that would do. Yeah, that's too much. So point zero 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 eight, too much. Okay, let's just go with point zero 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 five. Okay, I just mentioned too much zeros there. All right, so you know what I mean, like that. So that is the first step to what we have to do. Let me go into edit mode over here. Let's take this one and insert again. All right, just a little bit in the middle like that, just to make sure that area is nicely smooth. Alright, so with that done, what we're going to do now is to go into edit mode, and we're going to take, um, let me see, let's take, uh, let's take everything from the center to about here, alright, I want to press shift and ND like that, and press P to separate the selection, now we're going to take this one, press ctrl and plus, until we get here, let me just press ctrl and minus, like that, so we get there, I think, control and minus again, am I right, yeah, press X and delete those vertices, alright, so we only have the one in the middle, let's take this one and dissolve the edges, so we have only that, now this is going to be our glass, alright, so what we're going to do is, let me take all of these, and let me get onto front view, let me press F, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's press E, and then let's extrude this up, alright, to about this point. Okay, so I think it's about here, like that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is to, I don't know, scale it down again. We just try scaling it down to about here. Let's go to top view, alright. And let me see. Okay. Uh, let me take, let me take all of these from here to here. And let me just press S and then X and type in zero. No, S. Let's change the orientation back to global. All right. Press S and then X and type in zero. And let's share this in the Y axis. All right, like this. And let's pull this in the X to there. All right. And let's scale it down as well. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Let's just leave it like that for now. Now let's take it from here all the way to here, alright? S and N Y and type in zero. Let's get into Y frame. And let's share this as well. Do we need to? Yeah, I think we need to. So let's just share it. Is it X? X. Like that. Sorry about that tone. I just received a message. Uh yeah, so sorry about the tone. Um so like that and what we're going to do now is to take from here also to the side, press S and then X and type in zero. Okay, that side is actually looking good. And I'm going to take it from here to here, press S and then Y and type in zero. And let's get into web frame. Uh, I want to pull this down to about here. And I want to take this, press G twice and slide it here. And 
Let me take this, slide it down a little bit. Slide this here a little bit. Let me take this, slide it here a little bit. Take this, slide it here a little bit. Let's take this, slide it here a little bit. Take this, slide it here a little bit. All right. So let's go into wireframe. I'm going to take all of these. All right. I'm going to move this. Hold it. I'm going to move this up to here. Like that. And let's share it in the X axis. Make sure it falls on the line or follows the blueprint line nicely like that. And I'm going to take all of these ones here as well. Do quite the same thing. Pull it down to here. I think it's already falling in the blueprint line. Let's take the one next to this one. Slide it down a little bit more. Like that. Alright, so with that I'm going to take these four. Press W, choose loop tools and choose space. We're going to do it for all of the sides that we're seeing here. So all of the four sides. I'm going to use the loop tools on it. Till they have equal spaces going around it. Alright, good. So that was what we're looking to achieve. And we have... I want to press S and Z. Hold up. Let me change the orientation back to normal. Press S and Z and type in zero like that and let's change it back to global alright so we're gonna go back to the top view and let's insert some faces alright so we're gonna insert this to about here like that and just get over here let's undo that insertion alright let's move things around a little bit more before we actually insert <coughs> sorry so I'm gonna take this let's press G twice and move it to about here let's take this Press G twice, move it to about here. You know, let's let's make the distance between all of them equal. So I'm gonna press this loop tools space. I'm gonna do the same with this loop tools space. Select all the edges one by one. Loop tools space. The full edges like I'm doing right now. Loop tools space. All right. So now let's insert the faces again. So let's insert it all the way to about here like that. And let's insert it one more time. Sorry about the tone again. Just to make it flat at the top. So you can see what we have is looking exactly like what we have in the reference image. It's coming out pretty neatly. Alright. So now all we have to do now is to try and then fix the inner area. Well, not fix it, fill it. I think it's already actually filled. Let's hide this and see. Yeah, it's already filled. It's already filled. But it's a suppression, okay? It's a suppression. The, the part below is a silver... Uh, surface and the, from this side going upwards is just glass so let's take this side and press V to separate it up like that and we're gonna press we're gonna press control and R here bring this down to here I'm gonna press control and R here bring this up to there so I'm gonna take all of this press P and separate the selection alright so let's bring let's press Alt and H to bring everything back and I think it may have, it may have actually gone too low am I right or am I wrong Okay, well, it's kind of okay. Let me take a look. It's kind of okay, I guess. Yeah. Unless. Yeah, it's it's good. So we'll keep it there like that. So that is the glass, and I wanted to make this glass a little bit more thicker. All right. So we have to increase the solidify modifier, but first let's apply scale did I just apply scale that was wrong let's apply rotation and location and uh, let me see let's increase the thickness to 0 0.0035 let me take a look at how thick that is I think it's thickening to the outside so let's let's go into edit mode select everything press shift and N to recalculate the normal so it thickens to the inside instead so you can see the thickness. I think it's too much. So let's go with 0 0.002. Alright, 0 0.002 should be just right. I think. No, still too thick. So let's go with 0 0.001. Alright, 0 0.001 I'm definitely sure it's good enough. Definitely sure it is. Nice. Now let's take this one and let's do the same thing to it. So 0 0.001. Alright, and let's go into edit mode. And press shift and N to recalculate the normals like that. Alright. So there it is. Now let's go in here. Let's press Ctrl and R through here. Press E and then F. And then pull it all the way down here. Let's do the same thing here. Press E and then F. Let's pull it all the way up there like that. Alright. 
so that is looking great and this is where I will actually be ending the video no hold on actually we need to mirror this all, all to the other side so let's take this one let's go to let me see we have it selected here let's rename it to um, Fender Fender hold on let me see Let me see. We have it labeled. Let's rename it as Fender. Fender. Yeah. Top. Light. Now we're going to call it Glass. Alright. So let's copy all of this. Press Ctrl C to copy it. And then press Enter to confirm the name. Like that. Let's press H to hide it. Now we're going to take this one. Let's go down. Let's select it. Ctrl V. And this time we're going to change it to interior all right that's the silver area on the inside so interior and let's hide that now we're going to take this and we're going to call this body the body of the light the, uh, the what do you call it enclosure or whatever you want to call it and let's hide that so let's press alternate again let's add in the mirror modifiers so let's add in the mirror modifier here let's make sure it's the number one on the list <clears throat> sorry like that and let's apply rotation and location let's hide that now go on to this add in the mirror make sure it's the first one on the list control a rotation control a location hide that this one next let's add in the mirror pull it up and up and control a rotation control a location so everything should pretty much duplicate to the other side and you can see we have our beautiful lights just like in the reference image and now our car is starting to look like the G-Wagon and hopefully when we finish it looks really really good I'm definitely I mean I have high hopes that it will look amazing once we texture it which I'll be teaching you guys how to do that as well how to give it the paint and all that the textures and all that should be pretty easy but yeah Sometimes it could get tedious with the notes and all that, but we'll get through it. So, yeah, this will do it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.